Do you have a significant other? Hmm. Um. I wanna love, love, love. Every day and every night, every night. Hey guys, welcome to another video. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I've been trying to wear white on this channel for probably the last six million trillion years, and today I said I am wearing white. And someone just throwing a little, a little over the shoulder something for the bounce off the white for the camera. You like it? If you like it, comment down below and say like it. Anyway, if you're new here, my name is Rush Cam. I'm a Jamaican YouTuber. I give you education, entertainment, and everything in between. So if you're interested in content like that, go down below and subscribe. And when you guys subscribe and know that all of you have subscribed, do not forget to click the notification bell. And of course, I would love if you guys followed me on all socials, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, at Rushcam. So let us get into today's video. Yeah, I don't know. I just felt very, I don't know. I, I liked it. I don't know. I like it, you know, I like the, 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 the Alu Uto Echekenenge fabric, but no. So, if you guys follow me on Instagram, which as I said you should, this week I asked you guys to send me questions because I wanted to do an Instagram Q&A. A lot of you are new here. The last time I did a Q&A was so long ago and I know that I've grown because when I did this Q&A, box on instagram i got so 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 many questions this might even have to be something that we do a part one a part two i don't even know but i chose the most frequent questions and questions that you guys should get answers to so like there are things that you guys ask and i'm just like it don't make sense to answer it like it don't make sense for you to ask me like how many toes do you have like there's no value in me answering that you know what i mean so let us get into the questions shall we i hope you guys are ready okay so the first question is what has been your skincare routine lately looking really right and bright ah, thank you guys um for those of you who don't know i have been using some skincare from this brand um what's the name of it it's called skin rush island it used to be called island rush but it's skin rush now yeah by this guy called Rushcam, I've been using my moisturizer bright and bright for the last million trillion years and that was really working well for me but then I had struggles finding the right toner and a cleanser that went with everything and so I made my own um, and you know what since you guys are so special I'm gonna actually show you right now it's gonna be on sale closer down to the end of the year um, I know that I've been prompting and prodding and saying guys 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 but let me show you right so that is it so for all the updates rush cam skin rush related um, to get the skincare and to be there when it drops because it has not dropped as yet that was just a sneak peek follow the skin rush now the dms and the, when is it and can i order it no those are no the thing is you just want to be there for the updates so i hope that answers your question and yes the next question is do you have a significant other hmm um a lot of people think that i'm in a relationship but i am as single as a dollar bill and i've been single for a good while now probably like yeah a while yeah and you know you have different kind of single you have the single where you're still texting your ex you have the single where you have like three people in a day man you have um, bunks them whatever uh, so called dating and talking and then you have the single like me when you go to your bed in the night and there's nobody on your mind and you wake up and there's nobody on your mind you don't get a good morning text you don't get a good night text it's just you god and probably a few best friends like that is it that is how single i am am i looking i'm not sure but i feel like 
something might drop in on my lap, who knows? But yeah, that was not an invitation. But you know, you have a look, you have to just pull your eye. Next question is how has it been living alone thus far? Alright, so the living alone thing. I thought that I'd be like super anxious and super nervous and can't sleep at night and whatever, whatever. But it's been really, really good. The time alone and the silence is, I don't know, like it's, it's one of those things that you have to get accustomed to, but it's really refreshing, like spending time alone, spending time with my, myself and in the still of the night, just thinking and talking and writing and nobody's bothering me. I've definitely grown and matured since. I can say that there are things that i used to want to do or look forward to doing because i think i was feeling a void of not being able to spend time alone and with myself and that has definitely changed and so i am i'm glad for that now when it comes to the part where if you lock the door you forget them something i'm gonna love that i'm gonna love the part where if me not clean the place not clean i'm gonna love the part where me i feel responsible for everything but it definitely does not outweigh the joy and the, the the pleasure that I feel being by myself. So I hope that answers your questions. Of course, I'm learning as I go along. So like last week in my last video, check it out, by the way, I'll put it right here. You'd see that I struggle with the banana bread and I struggle with cooking sometimes and all of those things. But you know, you live and you learn. Uh, what do you look for in a partner? I have a list. But what stands out to me right now is that I look for somebody who is honest. I think that honesty, honesty is not a one-way thing. Like, honesty don't come in one way. So, like, people think that if you don't tell a bold-faced lie, you are not being dishonest. But there's deception, there's lies of omission, there are all those things. And I, I'm, I'm looking for someone who is honest. Um, definitely somebody who is kind. I think kindness is a big thing. You have to have a relationship with God. You have to love God. You have to understand the faith that I have in God. You have to be on a journey to growth and success. So there's some people who are not there yet. Like we're on our way, but you have, you have. You have earning potential, you have growth potential. And potential is not something that is far-fetched and over there so like, oh, you, it can happen. There's one in a 400 trillion chance that it happens so you have potential. No, I mean like taking legitimate and deliberate steps to moving towards something that is something else. Uh, you have to find it attractive. That is very important because, yeah. I mean, just don't want nobody where up under everybody. Like, why are you up under everybody's DMs? Like, why are you up in everybody's comments? Me, hey, come on, fall. Next. Have you considered doing Rush Cam merch? Yes, I've considered it. It is something that might happen. It might not happen in the way that you guys expect it. Uh, and it might happen in a really creative, fun, cool way. So you might not be walking around in Rush Cam t-shirts, but it's definitely something that I'm thinking about and you guys should stay tuned, follow me on all socials and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that every update Rush Cam related, you can be in the know. But it's definitely something I've thought about and I'm actively working towards. What is your love language? Ah, uh, my love language, I don't have one. I, I like to do love languages in pairs. Um, and I think my peer right now is, and for, for most of my uh, 20s has been acts of service paired with words of affirmation. Why I say peer is because if you're going to give me acts of service, but you're not going to give me any words of affirmation, like how does that work? And if you're giving me words of affirmation, but you don't back it up with anything, how that work? Like... It have to be like I like a pair. I don't really care that quality time, yeah, that's great. Uh-huh. Um physical touch eh, gifts. Eh, I like giving gifts. I'm a gift giver when I'm really into like you. Um but yeah, it's acts of service with words of affirmation. Double A. Why did you decide to give up on a career in law? No. 
as I said, I know that some of you are new. So the first thing is that I do not want us to say uh, you give up on it. You and I, I, I should not have even said this in my video title, quit it or whatever. No, 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 no. It's just that I pivoted or did a pivot and moved to another space and explored something else. We don't give up, we don't quit things, we just pivot. Uh, so if you want to hear the full story of that, I've done a video on it and I will provide the link down below in the description box. So you can check it out. What editing tools do you use to edit your YouTube videos? Okay, so I'm not one of the super pros. I don't use Final Cut. I used Final Cut one time and it did slow my MacBook so long that I was just like, like the way it did slow, I did just feel like it just never made a sense. So I use iMovie. It gets me to where I need to get to. I do my zoom up, I do my cut, I splice, I use green screen, I do all of those things and it works for me. Uh, but if you are interested in anything else, you can try Final Cut, you can also try, there's this other one, Premiere Pro, right? You can try any of those, but for me, I use iMovie. Do you see marriage and kids in your future? And let me just tie this with another question that they asked. Where do you see yourself in five years? One, I, I don't know if I see kids in the f near future and that is simply because I do not know right now if bringing a child into this terrible and awful world is a good idea. Like, I, like look at... If you look at where the world is right now, you ask yourself, do you want to raise a child in a world like this? That is the only drawback for me. Marriage is something that I've always wanted and aspired towards and I thought it would be nice or whatever, whatever. Actually, I thought I'd be married by now. If I'm, if I'm being honest, I thought I'd be married, getting married, end of 27, um, going into 28, but here we are. Uh, so it's definitely something that I would want for myself. And where do you see yourself in five years? I don't see myself in terms of where. I see myself in terms of who. I want to be a kind person. I want to be somebody who is living in purpose. I want to be somebody who is impacting people's lives. And I just want to do things authentically, authentically, things that are authentic to me. And yeah. So it's not about where I see myself. Of course, I want to be really well off financially and rich. And of course, I want all these things career wise, whatever. But who I want to be is more important to me. And so that is what I leave you guys with. I want to be kind. I want to be a good person. And I want to also continue to be a light for God and show people love. I think people are not accustomed to kindness it's like you're nice to somebody or you're, you do something to, for somebody without any expectations and then um, shock because we're just not nice so i want to be a nice person what is your biggest fear now my friends and exes would say that my biggest fear is not living up to my fulfilling my potential or or yeah whatever that that has changed my biggest fear right now is me my biggest fear is living a life without purpose so before it was about potential and things that i could connect to um to like work and being so smart and so talented and oh but she full of so much potential this that 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 no it is my fear is living a life without purpose so every single day i kind of want to do something that is connected to my purpose i want to do something that draws me closer to who i am supposed to be at my core and i sound like i've been like meditating and whatever but really and truly that is that is my biggest fear not being able or not doing that What's one piece of advice you would give to a trying YouTuber to gain views for their content? Um, I don't believe that we should try. We're, we're not trying to gain views. We're trying to gain followers and subscribers and trying to build a community. If you change your focus from views to community and, and 
um, subscribers, you would see where it is a lot more fulfilling when you can rely on people who believe in you. And so my piece of advice to do that is to do things that feel true to you. There are a lot of trends on YouTube, like a lot of people are doing so many different things. Mukbangs, we're doing uh, Q&As like this one, we're doing Never Have I Evers, we're doing Truth or Drink, we're doing like hauls, we're doing so many different things. Yes, I do, I, I dabble in so many different things, but every single thing that i do feels true to me and i make sure that i execute it in a way that is true to me please ensure that everything that you do even if it's a trend even if it's something that everybody has done you put your stamp on it and you continue to stand behind that so that people can see you and gravitate to you and your content you don't have to be an extrovert you don't have to be an introvert you don't have to be anything but yourself and the last question is what advice would you give to someone who is struggling with the will to forgive? The first thing in forgiveness is, is acknowledging why you were hurt and getting to the root of it. And so every single instance that I've had where I've struggled in forgiveness, it's because I've not really taken the time to acknowledge why I was hurt. Uh, sometimes we convince ourselves that you're hurt because of someone else. And I know that's why you're hurt. You're hurt because of X not because of why so i would say find out why you were hurt the next thing is if you are not the person who like acknowledge that you also cannot reverse the thing like you can't reverse what someone did to you you cannot reverse how someone was absent in your life you can't reverse any of those things to move forward in a space that is that is safe for you and to move forward in a space of peace you realize that you have to let it go so after you acknowledge it you need to acknowledge the benefit of forgiveness not just for you but for the person and for the situation once you acknowledge that you take deliberate steps to move towards forgiveness and it's not just in actions but in your heart um instead change the way that you talk about the person to yourself change the way that you talk about the person to others get advice from a therapist speak to someone who you trust and slowly take those steps to undo all of that but you have to realize that you cannot undo hurt you can only fix the way that you view it and the way that you're moving forward i know that was a huge ramble but you get what i'm saying the the long and short of it is two things one you need to realize that you cannot undo what somebody did to you and two you need to realize that for your benefit and for everybody else's benefit to move forward in peace and to live a peaceful life you have to let it go once you acknowledge those two things then you just identify the steps that you need to take to move forward in forgiveness i hope that answers your question so guys as i would usually say this is it i packed up my pack up my pack up my pack up i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'm gonna say outright and upfront that the kinds of questions that you asked me i am so happy and proud of you guys let me tell you why because we've been able to cultivate a space of not just entertainment and fun and vibes but also education and upliftment and conversations and hard topics and things like politics and family life and therapy and all of those things and i can see it reflected in your questions that you know what kind of space this is and i'm very proud of you guys i'm actually proud of you guys for the questions that you've asked I wish I could answer all of them and if you guys are interested in hearing more answers and doing a part two of course you can comment down below if you enjoyed this video guys please leave a like leave a comment share with your friends share it on social media and pack up so guys until next time I hope you guys have a great weekend I hope you guys have a great week to come I'm out pack up bye